Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go through how to update this repeating template so that you can create half drop repeat patterns instead of the typical tiling pattern. So to get started, I have already opened the template that we created in the video from two weeks ago. If you want to check that video out, I will leave a link in the top right. You'll see the little eye in the corner and it will go through the basics of how to set this up. For now, I'm just going to go through this very first artboard and I'm going to delete what is already in there. I'm going to change this background to white and then using Z on my keyboard, I'm just going to zoom in to this first artboard. So this is what I'm going to use in order to create the new half drop repeat. So I'm going to concentrate on making the pattern first and then updating the template. So at the end of this video, I recommend saving this separately so that way you can make your patterns and your typical tile repeat. And then you can also make them in the half drop repeat and they're already set up for you. So I have opened up some clip art that I created last year. I've used it in a previous video on creating greeting cards. Once again, I'll leave that link up in the top right. So to make this video easier, I'm just using the clip art that I already have. So you can use anything that you have created, or if you want, I will leave some links below for some clip art that I have on my website. Or if you want to use these ornaments, it's something that is on my creative market account. So I will leave that link as well. So with your move tool selected, so that top tool on the left or V on your keyboard, select your design. I'm using the keyboard shortcuts command C, or you can use edit copy. Go back to your document and then command V to paste. And this is pretty large. I am just going to scale this down and make sure in your layers panel, you'll see this one has moved the, or has automatically inserted this piece above that symbol, which will not allow it to repeat in that other artboard. So move it down. So it is below symbol and just continue until you have all of your designs in your artboard. Okay, now that I have all of my Christmas ornaments into my pattern, I like to mix them up a little bit so they're not all going in the same direction. So it adds a little movement and flow to the pattern. So I'm just going to go through and rotate these. And you can make the decision if you want where it's basically still one direction or if you want this to be a multi-directional piece so you can have them going upside down. Now that I have them going in different directions, I want to change that background color. It's perfectly fine to keep it white. I want to change it to something other than white because I also have a snowflake that I would like to add in and it is white. So I would like something so that I can actually see the snowflake. So the best thing to do is to pull colors from the design already and then you can adjust it. Like you can make it lighter don't love the pink, so I'm going to continue playing around with it until I find a color that I would like. Okay, so I decided to do something a little different and do a darker background because it really makes those ornaments pop. So to get started, I'm actually going to grab all of these ornaments and I want to enlarge them slightly because I think there's enough room to do that. So this very first one, I'm moving off of the edge of this artboard. And the rule for doing a half drop repeat is anything that goes over this edge needs to re be repeated on this opposite side, much like a regular repeating pattern. The only difference is it also needs to come down halfway. 
So this artboard is two inches by two inches. So this ornament needs to move over two inches to the right and then it needs to drop down by one inch. So to do that, with the ornament still selected, copy and paste, so Command C, Command V, or you can use Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. And then come down here at the very bottom right of your screen in the Transform panel. You'll see the X and Y. So to move it over to the right, you need to do plus two. You can go ahead and tab. It has moved it over the two inches. Now in the Y, you need to do plus one. And now you have created your repeat. So you're going to do pluses if you're moving to the right and moving down. So for example, if you want to move, I'll do this one. This one needs to move up. And because it's not repeating on the sides of the artboard, it only needs to move up. It doesn't need to be dropped down at all. So go to your Y in the transform panel and do minus two, enter. So anytime you are moving up or to the left, it is always going to be a negative. And once you get the hang of doing plus or minus, it's really, really easy to do the half drop repeat, especially if you set up an artboard on an easy size that you can divide by two. So keep it with even numbers or something fairly easy to divide in half. So for this one, plus two, and then just looking at it, you can tell if it drops down by an inch that it's most likely going to be off the artboard. So in that case, you actually need to move it up instead of down. So do minus one, and it is now repeating exactly where it needs to be. So just continue working all the way around until you have all of your designs or clip art into your artboard. And once you are happy with your layout, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that snowflake paste it in and you will notice that it did not go into the symbol. So once again, bring it down so that it shows in the symbol and adjust the size. So the same with this one, I'm just going to copy and paste and then I want to make sure it's not all going in the exact same direction. Make sure to have some of these that overlap the edge as well that needs to be moved. And at any point, if you want to adjust something that you've already created the repeat for, make sure to grab both of them and then you can move them around. In that way, you already know that the spacing is correct, so it's okay to go ahead and move both of them. You can even adjust some of these snowflakes so they are a little smaller. Okay, and the last thing that I want to do to play on the dots that I have on some of the ornaments, or actually most of the ornaments, I'm just going to go through and add some dots to this background. And for now, I'm just going to go into the fill color and then Right now I have it on the CMYK sliders. If you click that, I want to go down to tint and I just want to lighten that so it is still a shade of that background. And then just continue creating these. It can be different sizes. Once again, make sure that you have some that go over the edge. Okay, and once you have everything the way that you would like it, I'm just going to go through on the layers panel. And I noticed all the ellipses went above the symbols. So I'm just going to move them down and grab everything in the symbol. 
and group it. That way it's just easier to see. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom back out and you can see that we have a repeating pattern, but it is not lining up correctly. So I have all of the rows grouped together. So I'm going to select all of these, right click, ungroup all. And this time I'm going to go over one column. So you should have, if you set it up the exact same way as me, you should have four of them. These I will group, go into the transform panel and you need to drop it down by half. So minus one, and then do the same for the column that is two over. And just note, you can do plus or minus when you're shifting the entire column. Okay, and then I'm going to grab those two columns, ungroup, select these bottom two tiles from those columns, Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and then bring them down. Okay, so for the most part, it looks like everything is repeating how it should be. Although I'm noticing a few issues on some of the ornaments. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. So I'm gonna go back to the symbol and then I'm going to make a square that's the exact same size as the artboard. So that is going to be two inches wide by two inches high, align it horizontally and vertically. Okay, so I made the clipping mask that I talked about in the last video, and as you can see, everything is now lining up correctly with the exception of this one ornament, which it looks like I forgot to bring over to this other side. So to fix that, I'm just going to copy and paste it, bring it over to the left by two inches and then bring it down by one inch. And that should remedy the problem. So it looks good. It's repeating the way that it should be. And now you have the exact same setup for a regular repeating tile and a half drop repeat. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.